Keith and Rita are having a conversation about oil sands development. Keith has learned about mining and his friend Rita has just told Keith how the oil is recovered. Keith has heard a lot about tailings ponds and has some questions about them. Rita works for the Alberta Energy Regulator, or AER. The AER has been regulating oil sands development since it first started and understands its unique impacts and how to manage them. Keith asks, what are tailings? Rita explains that there are thousands of mines around the world producing everything from coal and nickel to diamonds, and they all produce tailings. Oil sands tailings are a mixture of mostly sand, clay, water, and oil. Because not all of the oil that was originally in the ground is recovered during the separation process, there is a small amount of oil left. Oil sands tailings are kept in man-made basins called ponds that are designed to hold the tailings that were produced from the mine. Water from tailings ponds is sent back to the extraction plant and used again. In fact, up to 90% of the water an operator uses is recycled from a tailings pond, which really helps to reduce the amount of water used from other sources. Rita says that managing tailings is a challenge because it is difficult to remove all the water that was mixed in. Tailings must settle to the bottom of the pond. The extra water is removed and the soil is put back on top so the trees, shrubs and other plants can grow and the wildlife can move back in. Keith asks, what's being done about tailings? Rita knows firsthand. The AER has direction from the Government of Alberta on how to manage tailings from an oil sands operation, now and in the future. Albertans expect the land will be returned to its natural state as soon as possible. To do this, the AER has technical experts who monitor how operators are managing their tailings and take action when there are concerns. And the AER has new requirements that will provide additional direction to operators and give Albertans regular progress reports. There's a lot of work going on to make progress on managing tailings. Leaders from industry, government, the AER, universities, Aboriginal communities and the public are working together using research and technology to shorten the time it takes to restore the land. Rita continues, the AER is managing another aspect of tailings ponds, the safety of birds that could land on them. Because there is some oil left over that can float in the tailings ponds, it can be dangerous for birds to land on them. The AER enforces waterfowl protection requirements to keep birds as safe as possible. Operators have systems in place around the tailings ponds that use sound and visual deterrents to keep waterfowl away. With big minds come big responsibilities. Keith wants to find out how the AER makes sure these huge industrial projects are safe and that the environment is protected. Rita explains that regulating an oil sands project starts well before a truck ever rolls onto a site. If a company wants to mine, they start the process by purchasing the mineral rights from the province and then talking about the project to the people in the area. After listening to the communities and completing complex site and project assessments, the company must submit a detailed application to the AER. The AER then conducts a thorough review of the project, which could take several years to complete. If the AER determines it's safe and responsible, it will issue an approval. And their job doesn't end there. Once the project starts, AER staff are on-site regularly to carry out inspections during construction and operation to make sure all the rules are followed. If problems are found or rules change, the AER takes action to enforce them in a variety of ways. Consequences for breaking the rules can be very serious and include conducting more frequent inspections, issuing large fines, carrying out prosecutions, or even shutting in operations. Also, the way the AER writes the requirements are important 
to make sure technology can continue to improve. The AER has many rules that give companies the flexibility to find the best solution for their mine, so long as the final outcome is safe, responsible, and meets the requirements. Although mines will continue to produce for decades, Rita says about 80% of Alberta's oil sands production comes from deeper deposits and is drilled for using in situ methods. Keith asks, so what is in situ and how does it work? For more conversations that matter, click on one of the links below or check out the Alberta Energy Regulator at aer.ca.